Begin by getting comfortable in your body. Find a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down or some other position. Allow your body to get comfortable. And having established a comfortable position for your body, allow your body to relax. Notice if there's muscular tension that's present for you at this time. And gently invite that tension to relax, to loosen, to let go. Relax your body. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. This may or may not feel good for you at this time. But if you'd like, you can use the smile to incline your body and your mind towards happiness. Just smiling. Allow yourself to establish these qualities of being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. Seeing if you can maintain these qualities through the practice period. If you find that they have faded or diminished, simply reestablishing them, making an adjustment to your body to Get comfortable again or relax, smiling once again. Allow this to be a kind of home base where you do this practice from. And without losing these qualities, begin to involve the mind. Reflect on things in your life that you're grateful for at this time, whatever that might be for you. This could be big things or small things, totally ordinary things or very unusual things. Whatever it is, reflect on what you're grateful for and tell yourself about it in your mind. Saying sentences like, I feel grateful for the food that I had to eat today. Or, I feel grateful that I could call my friend. Or whatever it is for you. Tell yourself what you're grateful for.
Be sure that you can hear the phrases in your mind as you tell yourself what you're grateful for. And as you do so, notice how your body responds. In particular, if you can feel the gratitude in your body, if you feel grateful, notice that and really enjoy it. Allow yourself to savor that feeling, to delight in the feeling of gratitude. Over time, as you do this practice, as you return to gratitude again and again, it's helpful to develop some kind of discernment for what tends to make you feel grateful so that you can establish that and return to it, knowing yourself in that way. Allow yourself to cultivate gratitude. In the same way that we established certain qualities in the body, if you connected to a felt sense of gratitude, allow that to be maintained, continued, even as we transition into the practice. Allow those positive feelings to continue to reverberate in your body like a warm afterglow. Bring to mind your easy to love person or animal, wherever that is for you. Allow yourself to cultivate love for them, perhaps by visualizing them or saying phrases to them in your mind or directly connecting to feelings of love. Allow yourself to love them to feel that love, to grow it.
again over time as we do this practice repeatedly, we cultivate a kind of discernment or self-knowledge. Who is the person that's easy for us to love? And how do we like to connect to that love? How do we cultivate it? Become increasingly familiar with our hearts. Enjoy that love. whatever extent you can feel that love in your body, bathe in it, steep in it, marinate in it, really enjoy it. Let that love become part of your body, part of your flesh and bones, part of your very experience of this person whoever they are. So that when you see them or think of them, come to the point where you can't help but feel love. Can't help but have your heart burst with love. Give yourself and this person your gift of your love. Again, in a moment, we'll transition to the main practice. You can continue to allow this warmth and love to radiate through your body and your experience. Not setting it aside, but simply transitioning. Allowing the love to grow, the joy to increase. Begin to visualize a sphere. A sphere with many swirling colors. This sphere is your soul, your essence, who you are. Beyond this body or your circumstances, this sphere is your soul. And in it, there are many colors swirling. Imagine what that might look like. Letting it be a suggestive metaphor or way of seeing for your experience. Not needing proof or certainty or even needing it to be true. Just letting it be a playful experiment, visualizing the sphere that is your soul, swirling colors, dancing within it.
See if there are certain colors that jump out at you that resonate for you. Or you can pick some that feel right. Doesn't really matter so much. Imagine that these colors are associated with various qualities that you have. Various attributes that you demonstrate in your life. Positive qualities that you can't help but show the world as you live your life. Is there part of who you are? Qualities like love, kindness, compassion, playfulness, joy, generosity, patience. All of these qualities are in your soul. You're visualizing them swirling about as colors in the sphere that is your soul. See if you can connect to one of these qualities Perhaps one jumps out at you, or you can pick one. It doesn't have to be one of the ones I mentioned. It could be any positive quality that you feel you have, that you're connected to, that you demonstrate. Consider which quality you'd like to work with. See if you can associate a particular color with this quality. Again, perhaps one jumps out at you. Oh, yes, this quality is golden or red, pink or purple or black. You can also choose one. And it doesn't matter so much. Just doing a kind of playful exercise. Allow yourself to visualize that color swirling through the sphere of your soul. See that color twirling and dancing and playing. Holding its way through the sphere like a ribbon or a cloud. As you visualize this color dancing within the sphere, see if you can find some way to connect to this quality, to bring up a sense of 
what it's like for you to have this quality, this good, positive quality. It's within you. You demonstrate in your life and your actions. Perhaps you remember a time that this quality was demonstrated in your actions. Or you imagine a time in the future where you might demonstrate it. Or perhaps you can connect directly to a felt sense of this quality. What it is like for you to have it and experience it. Be moved by it. Feel free to be playful. To try something out. To make a guess. There are no wrong answers here. You're just playing and exploring. Use your body and your mind to connect to this quality and to cultivate it, to expand it, to increase it, to grow in it. Do you connect to this quality? It's available for you. See if you can allow it to radiate outwards. Like a light emanating from a lamp or heat from fire. Letting your body be a source of this quality that ripples out into the world. It may or may not feel available for you. But if it does, allow this quality to stretch out past your body and into the world. Daring to believe for just a moment that the world is truly touched by this quality that you're radiating, truly impacted by it, healed by it, nourished by it. Cultivate this quality as a gift to the world.
Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. Remember what it was like for you and see if there's anything you might learn from it. Any lessons you might discern that might be useful in the future. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. Mm -hmm.